Hey guys and girls, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Hexit with myself, Lewis. Hope you're brilliant and very well and having a great day. Oh yeah. We're going to start today off with our user art of the day. Oh yeah, flashing up right about now is this funky piece by DK1999. Oh yeah, he sent it over by Twitter and you can see, showing off the test center there, funking out some uh, sexy armor. I'm, I'm loving it. It's good. You can Wow. <laughs> So keep those guys coming in, it's looking good. We've got tons of stuff to be showing off. Now, in the last episode, we managed to get ourselves the golden choke bow. Oh yeah, it's a thing. We did it. We finally got ourselves the master of all chocobos, the king, the grey skull of chocobos. Yeah, we got him. Ryuni is somewhere in here doing her thing. Let's go find her, shall we? Oh my god, there's millions of them. <laughs> Where is she? There she is, our Juni. There we go. Chilling out with Kuja. They made friends. See? They know they're the best two of the bunch. Just chilling out there. Doing their thing. Being chocobos. <laughs> Can even give them some of these guys. Makes them happy. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. He loves it. <laughs> Good stuff. So, today, I was deciding... We're going to leave the project downstairs or hold for a uh, for this episode, I think. I would quite like to... Uh... Oh! Hey, guys. How's it going? You're going to come join in on the fun, Mr. Hulk and Juni? Yeah, I think you're going to do that. Let's send you back in here, shall we? Where's my Chocopedia? Yeah, we're going to do some funky things today. And I'm kind of thinking that the best thing we could probably do... Aha, uh -huh, there you are. Come with me. Is... Can we have a house Chocobo? I think we're going to have a house Chocobo. <laughs> that is a thing. And where's Juni? You're coming in here. Come with me. I'm not letting you just chill around down here. There we go. Good stuff. Cool. So, yeah, we're going to take a day off from building all the stuff. I think I want to go ahead and start working on uh, the the area upstairs, the inventory area. Yeah, we're going to start doing that. Now, I kind of want it to be so that, because we're going to have lots of different type of modded armor in there, as it is going to be the best armory ever, I want to kind of work with all of the different type of mods and the cool blocks they add to make this place. So that way we've got a little bit of, you know, input from everything. Now today, I was thinking, hey, the, the Twilight Forest has quite a bit of stuff that we're going to be having. Like, a lot of the armor and whatnot is from the Twilight Forest. At least I believe it is. Let's have a look, see if it is. That should be quite a bit. Yeah, we've got this fiery stuff, we've got ironwood stuff, we've got the uh, naga scale stuff, we've got leaf wood as well, naga scale. We've got a fair few bits, steel leaf right down there, yeah, we've got a fair bit that we need to be collecting from there. And I kind of thought that while we're doing that, why don't we make some of the uh, cool blocks in Twilight Forest a part of the armory? So that's what we're going to do today, we're going to go and grab some funky blocks from the Twilight Forest. Now we've already got a few. So let's go and have a look at what we have, and we're going to uh, decide which ones we need. I kind of want Naga stuff, I think that's going to be a big one for us. So let's go have a giant gander in a tish in. Uh, yeah. Now, we've already got somewhere around here. Is it in my modded area? Or I might have some in here, I think. Yeah, I think we've got some Naga stuff in here, yeah. So we've got a Naga headstone already. You can go in there, chill out. And we've got some Naga stones. So the headstone kind of looks like this, and then you have the headstones, these stones going along here like that. And uh, it looks pretty funky, doesn't it? You've got like a Naga there and whatnot, I like it. So I kind of want that winding around the building. Maybe having a couple of the snakes, because I think that looks pretty funky. So that is probably what we're going to uh, grab, I think. There are some other cool stuff in the Twilight Forest that we can be getting. I kind of like some of the Carmite blocks. They look pretty funky. And we can use some of the uh, invisible blocks as well to kind of help us out there. I'm pretty sure we got a few of the uh, stuff to make those guys. Somewhere around here. I think it's in here. I think we dropped it in here. Yeah, Carmenite. There we go. So if we click on this, you can see we can make the vanishing blocks and the reappearing blocks. And these guys are funky because we have these as our door. Uh, we've got the Carmenite builders and the Carmenite reactor blocks as well, which kind of look pretty funky by themselves. So I think we might get involved in some of that. And then we've got the cracked tower wood, which is like redonkulously strong. So maybe we'll check some of that out as well. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's going to be a thing. Cool, alright. Also, in the last episode, we did a derp because we did have enough hexaglessons. <laughs> so we're going to go and make the last piece of that now as well. And I think we'll take it for a trial run. 
back out in the uh, Twilight Forest and just see how it does. See if it's that. See if it's really good enough to handle, you know, the strains of being a uh, an amazing uh, warrior of type. Yeah, I think that's going to be a thing. So we want to make the boots, which is the last part, really, of the stuff that we're going to need. So tribal boots. We need some string and we need a little bit of leather. So let's take a couple of string and we'll take a couple of leather and we'll get these guys rocking and rolling. Let's have a gander. There we go. Oh, wow. Cool beans. So we've got the full set of tribal goodies. Now, well, actually, we've done it now. We've got the full set of all of the hexical gear. That's pretty funky because we've got the thief, we've got the tribal, and we've got the uh, amazing other one as well, what is it called scale as well. So we've got some pretty funky stuff. I think we're going to use this. Unfortunately, at the minute, I don't think I have enough levels to be properly, you know, pimping it out to the max. But we could try and get something kind of on there. Let's have a look, shall we? So let's try and at least get something that's going to be fairly helpful. Let's try and get a bit. I think a bit of protection would probably help. Can we get? Yeah, we can do that, can't we? Cool. Cool. So we've got a little bit of protection on there. All right, let's try this out and see how we look. And we want the tribal leggings. We want the tribal helmet, tribal boots, and the tribal chest. Whoa, we look so good. Look at that. We've got night vision. We've got strength. And we've got jump boost. That is pretty funky. I like that one. We've got super legs. <laughs> and we need somewhere to actually put this guy. Oh, wow, we're a little bit slow now, though. That's all right. I guess we can deal with that. Let's go throw our... Uh, stuff inside the test center for today we are going to be taking the golden chocobo with us so we should uh, you know it'll be, it won't be too bad i'm going to throw this up in here i think for the time being yeah and we'll see how we hold out against a uh, naga as well because the chances are we're probably going to run into one of those guys while we're you know doing our thing let's flip a track flipping a track cool right let's go get juni and we're going to go take this golden chocobo for a spin where are you at there you are, cool. Oh, cool. So you're coming with me. Oh, oh, okay. We got this. We got this. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Are you gonna teleport? Okay, right, I got this, I got this. There we go. Hey, cool beans. Oh, moon. <laughs> you still living out here in the Twilight Forest? Fancy seeing you here. That's what, like 30 episodes ago, maybe? And you're still chilling here, Moon? And you haven't grown? Wow, the Twilight Forest does that to you, I'm afraid. <laughs> I can't believe Moon's still here. Is it following me around? It is. Wow, we're going to have Moon coming with us on an adventure as well. How cool. All right, so let's decide first where we want to, uh, you know, where this place is going to be. So if we have a look at our map and try and find one, I'm pretty sure I found one up this way somewhere where we can get some good blocks aha yeah there we go so that's going to be where we're going to go grab our funky looking blocks from so let's get a wiggle on maybe we'll find some cool stuff on the way as well how cool is this though being able to fly on a chocobo that is so cool i didn't actually think we'd finally make it to the golden one so soon but hey i'm loving it now we've just got to get some of the other ones so we've got red and we've got pink and that means we need to find purple to do that as well. So we need to get purple as well. So we've got a fair decent amount of other chocobos to find. But we've got to be a little bit careful in the nether at the minute. Because, you know, the purple feather and all that. It's, uh, it's, it's remnants, I think. I don't think we did all of them in. So I'm kind of uh, holding out of that place for the time being. Just going to let it settle, you know. Let it settle. <laughs> Before we go back. So I want to grab as many of these blocks as we can. To try and pimp this place out. And then we've got to think about the other mods that we want to do as well. So Harkin Scythe has a fairly decent amount of like scythes and cool things like that. So we can use some of the funky stuff that that has in it. Then we've got... Hmm, well, we've got Legends gear that has a load of stuff in it. So we'll have to look into that. Maybe we could get some of the grass in there. Some of the funky grass in there. It means we need to find some like mystical shrubs. But those guys are fairly rare to find. Um, I think we might have to try and get some lightning brewing. Because if we can get some lightning brewing, the chances are our mystical shrubs, they'll uh, drop seeds a little bit easier if you have a mystical shrub. Oh, can you see that? I can see a naga. I can see a naga in there. I don't know if I want to take the chocobo directly in there. Like, how much health has this got? It's got 50. I don't know if it's actually any stronger. Hmm. I did kind of prepare for this, though. By, uh... I can see a hexcalescent down there. Yeah, I did prepare for this, guys, so... Uh, I, I went ahead and made uh, I went ahead, <laughs> went ahead and made a few Buster magazines for the job. 
Oh, oh, I shot the golden chocobo. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh, oh, God. We've gone and ruined it now. Uh, um, okay, right. This is, this is the deal. You're just gonna chill here and not get involved and we're gonna we're gonna blast it from, from range <laughs> oh god i can't believe i just shot my golden joker but how bad is that didn't really intend for that to happen you just chill for the time being you know do your thing and uh i'm gonna take some pot shots at this guy let's reload it first i wonder if it'll ever forgive me for that hopefully it's gonna forgive me for that okay right here we go this is gonna be a thing i wonder if we just jump down here he's gonna follow me Good. He's staying up there. That's a good thing. <laughs> you still up there? Yeah, looks like he's still up there. Okay, right. Golden chocobo. Okay, right. Let's blow this guy up. Can I? I can't even hit him. All right, here we go. This is a thing. Come here. Stay. Stay. Oh, it's been a long time since we've taken on a naga. I'm worried that chocobo is just going to come- Oh! <laughs> oh, he's getting a bit close. Ow. <laughs> he's so dead. So dead. Let's do the finishing blow. Come here. Come here. Hey, there we go. Oh yeah. Got ourselves another one of these funky guys as well. Got ourselves another Naga trophy. Oh yeah. We've already got one, but hey, can't hope to, can't, you know, can't hurt to have another one, I don't think. Nice. Sweet. So these are the stones that we've come for. Uh, he's alright up there for the time being. He's gonna need the healing when he gets back. I feel really sorry now that I shot him with a buster shot. <laughs> oh. Oh wow, look, there's a couple of those things here. Sweet! I wonder if there's any more. This could be the best place to find hexagon lessons if you come around here. I guess because it's flat, it makes it a lot easier. Hmm. I don't see any more. But hey, finding two light ain't too bad. Yeah. So we want to grab as many of these as we can. Now it looks like the headstones uh, double up like that. I wonder if I, I wonder if it will just will it drop them if I do that. No. Well, it kind of drops a couple of them. I wonder how strong they are. They're strong. Ah, oh, they're not that bad, are they? Nah. Cool, right. Let's harvest a few of these guys. And then we can, uh, you know, use this to make some snakes. Kind of want it like they're winding around the armory. So, you know, like you can see like two or three of them kind of... Uh, I haven't decided yet whether I actually want them to be a part of the armory building or just to be winding around it. Because I think it looked pretty good if they didn't look, you know, if they weren't so static like this wall. Like they were actually kind of winding around and around. I don't know whether you can change the way they move. Uh, let's have a, have a go and see if it works. So if we kind of had, uh, let's try here. So we had like one like this, and then come around and up. And then like this and around a little bit. And then we're gonna go up a bit more. It looks like it's working. Yeah. Cool. So that does work. So we could have it like they're winding around the tower. And, uh, you know, here there are only small snakes. But if you did it, you can make it as long as you want, I think. Because they'll still just they'll bind together the blocks. I like it. So that means we can make this pretty much humongous. Which is going to look really, really funky, I think. Mm, yeah, that's a thing. Oh, hello, Mr. Deer. How are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> you just ch Oh, I killed him. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Probably didn't mean to do that. Yeah, so those are the mods that we're going to be playing with. And I'm trying to think of the other stuff that we can do. Because we've got quite a lot of gear from the Falling Meteors mod. Now, we've actually already got a load of that. So finding the gear isn't going to be too bad. But we do need to think of blocks that we're going to use for that as well. So we can make meteorite blocks, which look pretty cool. We can use those with the uh, meteor shards or the meteor chips. Those guys can be uh, used on there. And that, that would work, I think. Because if we use those, it's going to look pretty nice. It's just wondering about the textures and colours that's the harder part. Because we need to try and keep it looking kind of, you know, mysterious. And as if there's some weird 
towery thing in the middle of the sky. I don't want it to be, I don't want it to look too, uh, you know, modern, because it's gonna, it'll ruin the aesthetic of the build, I believe. Yeah, and if anyone comes around, they'll, uh, they'll probably mock me for it, so we need to make sure it's looking fairly decent. I think that's definitely a thing. Alright, how many of these guys have we got? We have five headstones. That's good, we've got 64, 37. Let's just grab a few more. We know where this place is now, so if we do need to come back, then uh, that's not a worry. We can come back and grab some more. I don't think the Nagas respawn, so we shouldn't have to worry about that again. Cool. Alright, I think that's going to do it for the time being. And, uh... She's still chilling up there. Have we got any regular stones so I can get back up there? Because I don't think I can. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I can reach that far. Let's just grab some of this, shall we? We'll just grab some of this rubbish. There we go. Now do it. Let's try and get back up to this. Uh, I feel so sorry that we shot it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Are we there yet? Nope. Hey, there we go. Oh my god, it's on 11 health. I feel so bad. We're going to have to heal this guy up when we finish. <laughs> okay, let's make our way back to the portal. I wonder if uh, Moon's still around. Because I think it's probably about time that Moon, you know, comes home. I've been living in the Twilight Forest now for like 30 episodes. It can't be very fun living here with, uh, you know, at least there's no zombies or guys hanging around on the uh, on the top level. They're inside all these horrible buildings and stuff. But still, it can't be very nice to be chilling in the Twilight Forest for 30 episodes. How long is that in Minecraft days? I don't know, like a couple of years maybe? Uh, probably like that. Just chilling. I wonder if, uh, you know, might have learned some new skills or something. Might have learned how to cook these bugs or make some uh, mean ant, like, deer things or something. Yeah, that's probably what I'm thinking. <laughs> cool. All right, let's make our way back. We're going to check out how to uh, set up this hopper thing because I didn't... A lot of the guys said about the ender chest, and I completely understand it now. So, because uh, it, the ender chests are where they play dependent, uh, and the hoppers aren't, it, it doesn't recognise the hoppers, because it has to be, uh, yeah, something like that. Something like that. Some sort of vanilla logic that, kind of, I don't really understand. But, at least you guys got back to me and told me all about it, which is pretty cool. So, I like that. And it means that we can change it around now a little bit to change, you know, make it more effective. So, I'm thinking we're going to go with the old build that I originally had, which is going to be the hoppers going across the top. I think we're going to do that. That probably is going to work a lot better. Where is my pool? Am I over it? No, nope. somewhere around here is a twilight port. There you are. Good stuff. All right. Let's go home. Okay, right. Get in the pool. Get in the pool. Oh, look, moon. Get in the pool. Get in the pool. Why is this so hard to get a chocobo in a pool? Do we have to... Come on. Come on. Oh, moon's going in. Come on, we can do this. We got this. Yeah, there we go. Good stuff. All right. Let's go together, shall we? Oh! Moon? Is Moon back? Oh, look! Moon's back! Hey! Come on. You can go in here and get back in the pen. We'll heal you up later. I think you need, uh... Yeah. You definitely need some alone time after play... Oh, look! Moon's made a new friend! Hanging out with Junie. Should we try and get Moon? Like, you know, let's actually get Moon to stay still for once. And uh, maybe, you know, it's uh, not going to run around for the rest of its life. Oh, I've got a spare Trocopedia. Oh, Hulk's just chilling in the house. <laughs> Alright, somewhere around here is a Trocopedia. We dropped it downstairs. We should probably go and, you know, get Moon a little bit more stable in the uh, overworld. I don't think it's been here for some time, so it probably doesn't know how to act like a chocobo. It's probably acting more like some sort of ram or something. So if we go to the test center, we've got one of these guys in here, I believe, that we dropped. Chocopedia? Yeah, there we go. All right. Let us go. And get Moon a little bit more settled. Moon? Hey, there we go. All right, come with me. You're finally going to make it home. After your glorious adventure. Right, if I go in here, you should follow me. Yeah, there we go. Wow. This whole time, and Moon finally 
Yep. Finally is home. <laughs> amazing. Absolutely amazing. And I'm going to put this back in here, I think, because, uh, yeah, there we go. Alright, so, let's go check this hopper process out before we, uh, wrap this one up, I think. We got a knife map, we got, you know, we got a nice amount of those stones, so we're looking pretty good. So, let's go to the test centre. We'll grab some hoppers, because I'm pretty sure I left a load from, uh, when we last made them in here. Did I? Yeah, there we go. Good stuff. So, and I'm going to put this away for the time being. <laughs> that is, uh, yeah, we're dangerous with that guy. We've blown up pirate ships. We've blown pretty much everything up with that guy. So, let's make our way down here. Whoop. And we're going to go to, is this the right place? Yeah, there we go. Good stuff. So, We've got the hoppers. Now, like I said, I wanted it kind of running underneath, which is, that's the biggest problem, I think. Oh, nice, we can get some of these guys. Yeah, that's the biggest problem, I think, to try and get them to go, like, properly underneath. Without, uh, yeah. I wonder if we can just do this. N nope. Oh. There we go. Cool. So we kind of want these running underneath it. Nice. And they're going to go along there, I think. I think that's probably the best way of doing it. If we had them going along there, and then they can hop across like that. Yeah, that's probably going to be the best way of doing it, I think. So if we had them, like, if we had, like, one here, one here, like that. But we had them all facing into each other. It should pull them along. And then with that, we're uh, going to be able to move our goods. Which I think is a better way of doing it. Because we can't use these ender chests. Because uh, like we found in the last episode, the they won't the poppers won't drop into ender chests. So if we had it going that way, then I think it's going to work alright. Yeah, I think that's going to be a thing. I do need to change it around a little bit because I want to try and make this out of wood. So it looks a little bit more, you know, a little bit more bridgy instead of just having cobble. And then we'll start working on the place over here. Now, the place over here is going to take some time because I want to try and make it like I'm like this one was made. So we need all the blocks coming out. We need the dirt. And that takes quite a bit of time to do, especially getting the uh, vines and things to grow and whatnot. So that's kind of the look I'm going for. Uh, I don't think I want any water coming out of it though because it's, there's no streams down there so it's just going to look a little bit weird having random water just running everywhere. I don't think it'll look as good as it needs to look. No, probably not. Alright, so I think we're going to call this episode a day and I'm going to go work on that to get it looking perfect. Oh yeah, we're going to do that to get it looking perfect and you know, we'll be right back with another episode in a couple of days where we're going to finish this off. We're going to start using all these funky blocks that we've got. I think it's going to look pretty good. And we're just going to get cracking. It's going to be a thing. All right, guys. I'll see you soon for another episode. Have a good one. And goodbye.